Hello, Warrior Women. I hope you guys all had a great weekend. I'm sitting outside today, so the lighting isn't very good, but it's too nice to be indoors. So here we are. Um, I'm going to dive right into Psalm 7 and just take a few parts out of it. Um, some of the parts that I thought were pretty interesting. And I'll just start here in verse 3. And it says, O oh Lord my God, and this is in the Amplified Version. O oh Lord my God, if I have done this, if there is injustice in my hands, and to just let you know what's going on, as usual, his enemies are against him. Um, if I have done evil to him who is at peace with me, or without cause robbed him who was my enemy, let the enemy pursue me or overtake me, and let him trample my life to the ground, and lay my honor in the dust. Well, I was, you know, how many of us could actually say something like that and not be afraid of God, you know, blasting us off the earth and just leaving, you know, a little pile of ash right where we were standing um, if we dared to say something like this. But here's David. He said this knowing um, that he was in right standing with God. And because the next thing he says, and here, first of all, uh, 1 Corinthians 11.31, let me read this, it says that if we evaluated and judged ourselves honestly, recognizing our shortcomings and correcting our behavior, we would not be judged. So clearly, this is where David's always at, um, in repentance, judging himself, in the fear of the Lord, in obedience, always being sure that he's pleasing the Lord, um, he's always in relationship and at Jesus feet so he knows that he is pure of heart because he has that is what he's always attaining to be just as we should always be attaining to be there as well and then you can look you know he's you know he's that he knows he's innocent so he goes if you go a little farther it says um, verse 6 arise O Lord in your anger lift up yourself against the rage of my enemies rise up for me you have commanded judgment and vindication. He knows, again, he's in right standing. Verse 8, the Lord judges the people. Judge me, O Lord, and grant me justice according to my righteousness and the integrity that's in me. He knows that he has a pure heart because he is always judging himself lest he be judged. And this is, again, where we should always be. We should always be judging ourselves, examining ourselves, asking the Lord to reveal to us anything in ourselves that we might be blind to, because that happens a lot. We can be blind to maybe something that um, is going on in our lives that we really need to clean up and we need to correct. So um, something to think about. Are we in right standing? We need to come to Him, be in self-judgment, judging ourselves, examining ourselves, repenting, and coming clean before the Lord. You guys have a great Monday, and I'll see you next time, next time with Psalms 8.